Omega is one of the UK's largest regeneration projects. Its 25-year programme will see £1 billion invested into transforming a former airbase near Warrington into a mixed-use development, creating thousands of jobs. QMAX is unique in that it allows complete integrated drainage networks to be created from a single product range. This has allowed the team at Omega to develop a fully value-engineered drainage solution tailored to the characteristics of each zone. Let's take a look at a site plan. Omega Wolf is an 18,500 square meter logistics center. ACO QMAX collects the runoff from the entire hard standing, taking in the loading bays, trailer handling, parking zones, and the dedicated refueling station. All runoff is routed to a perimeter suds basin. Using ACO's online design software, the optimum combination of edge rail and channel size was identified to minimize the number of runs that would be needed. Let's now take a look at the unique benefits and cost savings ACO QMAX delivered for the Omega project. Schedules were tight on this project, but with ACO QMAX available in five sizes, there was greater scope to develop a network that minimized excavation and material handling. And with no additional slab reinforcement required due to QMAX's unique pavement beam feature, the ground workers were able to comfortably meet the challenging lay rate. The specification required a sealed system and preventing infiltration was straightforward. Each ACO QMAX unit is fitted with an integral sealing system, which meant no further operation was needed to achieve water tightness. Suitable for up to F900 load carrying capacity, the new high-performance ductile iron edge rails are ideal for demanding environments such as Omega. Where runs have been installed in pedestrian areas, ACO QGuard edge rails have been fitted. All other runs use ACO QFlow high intake edge rails. Each ductile iron edge rail is protected by a magnetic strip which remains in situ while the slab work is cast. In total, 1100 meters was installed across the site from the smallest sized 225 model up to the largest capacity 900 units. All runoff from the site goes through a series of full retention and bypass oil separators to a perimeter suds basin with a network of swales and attenuation ponds. From the basin, runoff eventually enters the main sewer at the permitted discharge rate. <laughs> 